India has a rich and long history filled with many fascinating discoveries and inventions. Vedic mathematics is a fascinating part of India's rich heritage. It's a collection of ancient techniques for solving mathematical problems that emphasizes speed and efficiency. Imagine you are able to multiply any two digit number in your head instantly. This video is based on a powerful Vedic math technique for just that. So whether you are a student, professional or anyone who wants to sharpen their math skill, Vedic math multiplication offers a faster and flexible approach to calculations. Hi, I'm Shilpa and this video will learn how to multiply any two digit number without using pen and paper. But before that, let's go through some of the pointers. Feel comfortable ditching the pen and paper. Depending on the situation, prioritize a quick estimate or a precise answer. Solve mentally from left to right. It's okay to make mistakes. Learning is part of the process. Be creative and flexible. The calculation should be an engaging process and not just some road memorization. So while solving the questions, you can pause the video, solve the questions mentally. This video is useful only if you are solving the questions along with me. So let's start with some very basic multiplication patterns. Let's start with multiplication by 5. 5 is essentially 10 divided by 2. So when you have a number 28 into 5, what you can do is put a 0 behind 28 and then divide by 2. So you get 140. So now you tell me what is 42 into 5? Yes, that would be 420 divided by 2, which gives you a simple 210. Let's try with some more numbers. So 56 into 5 would be 560 divided by 2, which is 280. 648 into 5. You try? Yes. So just put a 0 and then divide by 2. So you get 3240. How about if it is an odd number like 1297 into 5? No worries. Again put a 0 and then divide by 2. So you get 2 6 are 12, 2 4 are 8. There's a carry forward. So you'll have 8 followed by 5. So your final answer would be 6 4 8 5. Why don't you try 8 6 4 2 6 into 5? Remember left to right approach. So yes, you start with an 8. So when you divide 8 by 2, you get 4 3 2 1 3 0. Correct. Easy, right? There was no need to write to solve these questions. Let's extend this to multiplication by 11. So when you have 24 into 11, that is 24 into 10 plus 1, which is 240 plus 24, you get 264. Okay, is it long? So what we are going to do is we are going to use a left to right approach, which is start with 2, then add 2 plus 4, and then write 4. Yeah? So you get the answer as 264. Let's try another example. 42 into 11. Yeah, you don't have to do 420 plus 42 and all. You can start with that left to right approach. So start with 4, then 4 plus 2, 6, followed by 2. Easy, right? And we are doing left to right mentally. So what is 65 into 11? Now, if you notice, 6 plus 5 got a carry forward. So that's why instead of starting with 6, you will start with 6 plus carry forward. So you get 7, 1, 5. Perfect. Why don't you try 79 into 11? So you start with 7, but then 9 plus 7 gives you a carry forward. 16 has a carry forward of 1. So your answer would be 8, 6, 9. Try 87 into 11. Absolutely right. You straight away get the answer as 957. Perfect. How about 98 into 11? Yes, correct. 1078. So you've seen multiplication by 11 was pretty easy. 
So let's move on to multiplication by four. Now in multiplication by four again, you can just do double of double. So let's say you have twelve into four. Start with twelve into two, which is double of twelve, twenty-four. Double of twenty-four is forty-eight. Right. Doubling is relatively easier because you're adding. So when you have forty-three into four, start with double of forty-three, which is eighty-six. What is double of eighty-six? One seventy-two. Remember the carry forward. Yeah. So just keep adding when you move from left to right. Try seventy-six into four. So double of seventy-six is one fifty-two. What is double of one fifty-two? Correct. Three hundred and four. Let's try another one. One twenty-three into four. Yeah. So double of one twenty-three is two forty-six. Double of two forty-six is four ninety-two. Vedic mathematics offers a unique way to approach multiplication. It is designed to be intuitive and work in harmony with how our mind actually processes information. This means Vedic multiplication can actually help you to give an idea of the answer even before you have performed the full calculation. It makes it flexible, so you can either get a precise answer or a quick estimate, depending on the situation. It is very useful for the competitive exam where speed is a factor. Let's quickly summarize the scope of Vedic mathematics. Moving on to the multiplication methods. Urdhva Triyagbhyam. So let's start with the first method, which is Urdhva Triyagbhyam, which is also called as the universal method. Now, why is it called a universal method? Because you can multiply any two-digit random number with any other two-digit random number. There are no constraints. And the best part about this method is you don't need to write steps like what you do in your traditional method. You can simply get your answer from left to right. So Urdhva Triyag Biyam simply means vertically and diagonally, crosswise, and there is an addition involved. So it's a simple process which is like based on symmetry, one cross one. So let's go through some of the examples so that you understand this method perfectly. Let's start with the first example, fourteen into twenty-one. So you start with fourteen, write twenty-one just below it. Start the operation with four into one, which gives you four. Then follow it with a cross multiplication, which is one into one plus four into two, which is nine. And then end it up with two into one, two. So you get the answer as two ninety-four. So why don't you try the next one? Forty-one into thirty-two. Start with the same process. Write forty-one and write thirty-two below it. Yes. So you start with two into one, which is two, followed by eight plus three gives you eleven. Now eleven, you are allowed to write one, and the one goes carry forward. So when you have four into three, twelve. So you have the carry forward added to twelve. So that means one three one two. Yes, you started with two into one, followed by four into two, eight. Eight plus three, eleven. You wrote that one, and that one went carry forward, which got added to four threes are twelve. Twelve plus one, thirteen. So, try this question on your own. Fifty-three into sixty-four. You can pause the video, solve it, and check. So you have fifty-three, sixty-four. You started with three fours are twelve. And again, there is a carry forward, so you only write two, and one goes carry forward. Then, twenty plus eighteen. Twenty plus eighteen gives you thirty-eight plus that carry forward. So you write nine, and three is carry forward. Finally, you have six fives are thirty. Thirty plus three gives you thirty-three. So your final answer will be three three nine two. Right. The carry forward has to go to the neighbor. So when you had three fours are twelve, the one went carry forward, and when you had twenty plus eighteen, you got twenty eight plus one. So you wrote twenty nine nine, and two went carry forward.
बेस मेथड निखिलम नव दश शर्म दशतः ऑल फ्रॉम नाइन लास्ट फ्रॉम टेन द सेकेंड मेथड इज कॉल्ड निखिलम नव दश शर्म दशतः दिस इज ऑल फ्रॉम नाइन एंड लास्ट फ्रॉम टेन नाउ दिस विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ बेस मेथड फॉर इजी रिमेम्बरिंग सो इन दिस मेथड यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई एनी टू डिजिट नंबर विद एनी टू डिजिट नंबर बट देर इज अ कंस्ट्रेट Now this method is only applicable when both the numbers are closer to the base. Now the base can be ten, hundred, thousand, or anything. So let's solve some of the questions so that you get an idea about this method. Hundred and three into hundred and six. So the base here is clear. That is hundred. So how far is hundred and three from the base? Three units and hundred and six is six units. So what you do is you multiply the Surpluses, which is six into three, eighteen, and cross add, hundred and three plus six or hundred and six plus three. So you get your answer as hundred and nine followed by eighteen. Let's try another one. So here you can see the surpluses are eight and four. So multiply them, you get eight into four, thirty-two, and hundred and eight plus four gives you hundred and twelve. If you're wondering. How many digits after the partition? That is, in this case, the base is hundred, so two places. What if you have deficiency, like ninety-three into ninety-two? The base is of course hundred, but ninety-three is seven units away from hundred, and ninety-two is eight units away. So again, you multiply the excesses, which is seven into eight gives you fifty-six, and ninety-three minus eight gives you eighty-five. So your final answer would be. Eight five five six. So try ninety one into ninety six. Yeah, nine units away and four units away. So you multiply nine and four. So minus nine into minus four gives you plus thirty six. And ninety one minus four. Your answer would be eight seven three six. Hundred and three into ninety six. So the surpluses and deficits are plus three and minus four. So you multiply three and minus four, you get minus twelve, and hundred and three minus four is ninety nine. But you cannot have an answer as ninety nine with a negative twelve. So we'll borrow from the neighbor, which is nineteen hundred minus twelve gives you nine triple eight. The way you used to give access to the neighbor, in this case, we borrowed from the neighbor. So ninety nine hundred minus twelve is your final answer. So why don't you try this question on your own? Hundred and eight into ninety nine. So hundred and eight is plus eight, and ninety nine is minus one. So you multiply eight into minus one, you get minus zero eight, and hundred and eight minus one is hundred and seven. But you cannot write your answer as one zero seven minus zero eight. So again, you will. Borrow from the neighbor, so you have hundred and seven zero zero minus eight. You get your answer as one zero six nine two. Perfect. So now let's try twelve into fourteen. Now here the base is ten, so you can easily do without writing any step. Twelve plus four sixteen, and four into two eight. Since base is ten, you have only one digit after the partition. How about fourteen into eleven? Yeah, you can use a multiplication by eleven also. Here, let's do the base method. Fourteen plus one fifteen, and four ones are four. Let's try some more. Fourteen into thirteen with the base method. Fourteen plus three is seventeen. But four threes are twelve has a carry forward, so you get one eight two. Seventeen into thirteen. Seventeen plus three is twenty. But three into seven is twenty one, which has a carry forward of two. So you get two three two. Fourteen into thirteen. Fourteen plus three seventeen. Four threes are twelve, but there's a carry forward, so your answer is one eighty two. Try seventeen into thirteen with the base method. Yes, of course, you will start with seventeen plus three twenty, followed by three sevens are twenty one, which gives a carry forward of two. So twenty plus two twenty two, followed by one. 
9 into 8 of course you know the answer is 72 but let's try the base method and get comfortable so like 9 is minus 1 units away from 10 and 8 is minus 2 so you multiply 1 and 2 you get 2 since the base is 10 you have only one place and 9 minus 2 7 so get your answer as 72 let's try another easy one 12 into 8 of course it's 96 but let's try with the base method so like 12 is plus 2 and 8 is minus 2 so you have 2 into 2 minus 4 and 12 minus 2 10 but you don't write your answer as 10 followed by minus 4 so you borrow from the neighbor which is 100 minus 4 gives you 96 perfect i hope you have become comfortable with the base method but what if the numbers are pretty huge like 1008 8 into 1012 now it's pretty clear right the base is 1000 so you can simply get the answer as you start with the 12 into 8 and you get 96 how do you write 96 0 9 6 why because the base is 1000 and 1008 plus 12 gives you 1020 so your final answer would be 1020 followed by 096 and absolutely there was no need to write any step even if the numbers are so huge let 998 into 994 base is 1000 minus 2 units away and minus 6 units away so 6 into 2 you don't write 12 you write 0 1 2 because the base is 1000 and 998 minus 6 gives you 992 followed by 0 1 2 easy right Vedic mathematics offers a refreshing perspective on multiplication compared to the traditional method. In traditional method, you have to write steps, whereas here you can just get the answer in one step. So in today's video, we have seen in detail, just with the two methods, you can multiply any two-digit number with any other two-digit number. So the two methods were the universal method and the base method. Now, why don't you try numbers like with bases 200, 300? Does the base method work over there? And the Udhav Triyat Bhya, which is vertically and diagonally crosswise, can it be extended to three digit multiplication or a four digit multiplication? Why don't you try and see if there is a pattern coming up? Do let me know about it in the comments. And if you like the video, please ensure that you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.